Life is this uh, emotional reflection within a reflection of how we treat each other and what ego is caused because of the fear in the miscommunication or the ref true reflection of the communication and how we are transformed from our actions to break through each cellular structure to rebond and either inhibit or take action towards communicating our emotional body and what is responded by the communication and the reflection and response of our emotional expression outwardly towards another person or just the vibrations we put into the air reflecting on how we were responding through our own actions towards the thoughts and intentions we took with an emotional response because of our actions and what we have learned once we can express that we can break the illusion and realize our own choices, reflect who we are. I'm sorry, that was backwards. All right, so we have proteins, the thoughts create the foundation of what we want to give off, the imagined manipulation it will take to create a response, response of a inspired action of communication into yourself bonding to the oh shoot myelinated uh, axons to go through and create the bone structure in which we can reflect our communications that we wanted to give off and the actions we would like to take because of the thoughts we have communicated within ourselves of an understanding of what it would be like to experience to take that action action potentials and receptors Hmm. Right. These are the myelinated axons and these are the demyelinated axons. So the myelination process is the ego in which it gets suppressed into the spinal column. This it should be like to send signals to the brain, the mind, the muscle to tell the structure how to respond and what we're receiving from our own actions and choices that we took ourselves to and that we are seeing how, what ego or personality do we use when we are trying to create the intentional action 
in our choices or in unintentional, which are instincts, which are the sins of our father. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see here. Down here are the receptors in which we get reflected back once we take those actions by expressing what is on the inside either out of ego which is what we created in our shadow or what was given to us given the structures that we were taught and communicated to what we give off in our actions, in our lens, is given power by the emotional depth within us. And once we can reflect back and communicate it back to ourselves, you either keep the ego and the choices that you have and you can skip the depths and everything and only see the light. You only have a little bit of power in that. In that depth into another person. Once you can see your own depths and your emotional choices. You can see yourself in the reflection of another person. By what you are responding and taking actions on and understand it was all of you in your actions that your mind took to communicate in the way you communicated. You can create an illusion and take the same actions Maybe not same actions. Same. Responses. And no change. Or it just gets. Pressed down the spinal column. And creates gray matter. I think the gray matter is given the moon and how it draws the energies and how we emotionally reflect back to ourselves in understanding and communicating that everything on the outside is just a reflection of all the actions and thoughts you took to be in the position and choice and action you took given your own mind. Mm -mm. If you can control and understand your own emotional depth in the actions and can separate yourself from the actions you receive from another, you can control and release that myelin off of the axon and make it whatever you want to create by what you are communicating and how you are responding to communication in the reflection you give off by the actions and choices that brought you to the moment where now you are expressing what is internal 
within the mind, the intentions of the emotional expression. This emotional expression is given the structure by the reflexes given by the response of what the brain tells the inner light and how to shine onto another person outwardly or to yourself because it's all a reflection of self. So it's all self. And that's the illusion. Eye for an eye just keep you stuck with the same ego and then you don't have an understanding or depth because then you don't understand the structure you're creating and the reflections you're creating by your own actions. Mm -mm -mm. That's the devil. What you preach and your wisdom you say onto another shooting for the stars gives you an understanding into another person's responses and reflections. But you can only go as deep as the depths you understand your own self and why you take the actions you take given the grounding in the potential of the intention imagined and manipulated into a response or reaction to what we're digesting as well within our own self to take the action. to create and manifest the inspired wisdom of how well we understand ourselves and what we want, which is the protein given into the muscle by the frequency and presence you carry within yourselves and how you can express that depth within you of understanding and communicating onto another person. Excuse me. Let's see here. So this is the cellular structure. These are action potentials, the receptors and communication given into the cell. Um, the nerves, the organs. This is the communication from the spine manifesting the emotional action and tension behind the imagined manipulation or manipulated energy. The only way we can take actions is to use another to reflect upon in any engagement. And this is how we create each other in bond to each other. Because we carry and lift each other's actions and responses by the things we intake and express to each other. Mm -hmm. 